Right, so I thought I would do a quick video to um, demonstrate and uh, show you how to enable the developer console for um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, the de developer console is a handy tool uh, for use within the game. You can manually uh, change weather conditions, change time. Um, you can also use it for um doing uh sort of cinematic style uh filming um there's the what they call the, the debug camera so you can move yourself away from the vehicle and and um do a kind of panning shots and and um it can be used for uh teleporting your truck as well so instead of having to if you crash you don't have to be recovered to the services you can um Put yourself back on the road. Um, so the first step to do is you're going to look for the game uh, config file. Uh, so in here, go to your documents folder. It might be slightly different for yourselves, but this is uh, this is where mine is. It's in the same location as where you would put your mods. So there's the mod folder there. You scroll down, and there's a a text file there, config. You want to open your config. Um, and there's two lines of text that you're going to look for. There's G developer. Um, if I can find it. There we are. There's the first one. U set G underscore developer. So if you don't have the console um, enabled, that one will be a zero. So you want to make that one for G underscore developer. And then the other one is G underscore console. G console. And that will be zero as well. So you want to change that to a one. Just these two. If you're unsure, make a copy of your config file beforehand, so um, if anything happens with your game, you can put the original config back in. But it's relatively straightforward, just these two lines, g underscore console and g underscore developer. Where was it? That one there. These both set to one. Save. <coughs> And then close and that will be it and i'll show you in game how to um, enable the developer console and what it looks like okay so you'll see the purpose of the developer console in the shop so the way to um to display it is the button key next to number one on the the top number bar so the key to the left is number one you press that and this console opens up on the left hand side um, and you can drag that larger if you want and in here you have um, all the lines of code relative to the game um, but you can't do anything with the game while that's open. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll show you this. So for example, no side skirts there. We click on that. That's the side skirt loaded. And if I now go back to the developer console, you'll see these lines here. Vehicle accessory side skirt um, and that's how you would get the part name as uh, what is that one side skirt and then plate plates 6x yeah so that's how you would use the developer console in this uh, in this purpose to get the names of, of parts Every time you load a different part up, 
painted fenders. And there we go there, F underscore fender underscore cab. And then the, the part name is there. So uh, I'll cover I'll cover that. I'll cover the rest of that in another um in another video. But essentially when you're putting part names into skins, you start with the the slot position first. So that would be the F underscore fender underscore cab. That would go at the start and then it would be a, a dot and then it would be the actual name of the part here which is the bit at the very beginning um and i'll i'll come out of that now the other thing we can do here with the developer console is um we can change the time so open the developer console as you would um this one I know, so it's G underscore set underscore time, then a space, and then time in hours. So um, if we want to make it 8 o'clock in the morning, 08, and then press enter, and there we go. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and the other thing you can do is if we go to the what we call the, the debug camera so if you press zero uh, on the top uh, number pad you can move yourself around using the keys on the number pad and you can use the roller wheel on your mouse to speed up your your movement or slow down and you can pretty much scroll anywhere around the map. And if you want to spawn your vehicle somewhere, then you press Control F9, and there's your vehicle. 